Last week, I was invited to speak to a group of 35 people as an inspirational speaker. The big difference between this group and all the other groups in the past that I've spoken to was the fact that these 35 people were terminally ill and I had absolutely no idea how to inspire them for the simple reason that they were dying in any case. But here's the thing. After a 35 minute plus interaction, I was the one who was more inspired and much the wiser. So let me share a few things with you. This group, one, had absolutely no fears of the unknown, like you and me. They were not even concerned of what tomorrow is going to bring to them. Because their life on planet Earth was clearly defined. They know exactly when they were finally going to conjoin with the universe. So there were no fears. In fact, these fears were replaced with a enthusiastic will to create every dream of theirs into a reality within that time frame that they had. And I was amazed at how much of a tearing hurry they were to create masterpieces out of every moment of their existence to leave behind very positive impressions once they know more. I found them amazingly affectionate, deeply filled with gratitude for everyone and everything. There was nothing negative about them. There was nothing that they criticized. They were literally enjoying every moment of their existence with a lot of love, a lot of affection, a deep-rooted focus in terms of what they have to do now. They were open to any request whatsoever. And it was a very, very, very touching 30 minutes that I spent with them. One thing I realized that there is no way you can get out of life alive, whether you're terminally ill or you're not terminally ill. What really is important is to seize every moment of your existence and cherish it, love it, smell the flowers, take long walks, smile a lot, put your arms around the people you love, tell everyone how much and how important life really is. Bring in the enthusiasm and celebrate every moment of our existence before they all cease to end. Have a wonderful week and let's meet up again next Sunday. Ciao for now.